Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and just a quickie here. I I was hearing Michael Savage for WHAM took him off the air, talking often about the House Un-American Activities Committee, which is a committee of the U.S. House of Representatives, established in 1938 under Martin Diaz as chairman, that conducted investigations through the 40s and 50s into alleged communist activities. And many artists and entertainers, including the Hollywood Ten, Elia Kazan, Pete Seeger, Bertolt Brecht, and Arthur Miller, never heard of any of those before. Richard Nixon was an active member in the late 40s, and the committee's most celebrated case was perhaps that of Alfred Hiss. I have heard of that one. Instead of bringing this back, I agree with Savage on this with some reluctance, because I don't know how many people in the uh, House of Representatives are actually uh, that patriotic, but uh, I do think this needs to happen. Because I'm looking at all these, they're basically communist mini-tyrants. Yeah, I shouldn't even call them many times, just call them communist tyrants. Examples are Governor Cuomo of my home state, New York, Gretchen, Gretchen Whitmer, uh, out of Michigan, who was a full-fledged leftist pinko commie tyrant. Uh, Dewine of Ohio, who is supposed to be a Republican, but is just a rhino. Then you have Newsom of California, and so on and so forth. They might pop in occasionally, that's my chat group. They'll be, uh, communist totalitarian dictatorship to be controlled from abroad. That's uh, actually activities are carried out by secret and conspiratorial methods, and that uh, its activities both because of the alarming march of communist forces abroad and because of the scope and nature of communist activities here in the United States constitute an immediate and powerful threat to security in the United States and American way of life. And it says up here, I missed one. Uh, the state communist movement in the United States is foreign controlled. That would mean China, for the most part, today. And that its ultimate objective with respect to the United States is to overthrow our free American institutions in favor of communist totalitarian dictatorship to be controlled from abroad, namely China. So, I wanted to make the case here for expatriating. We might have to come up with some new uh, rules on this. So I really didn't find anything as far as removing a governor, for instance, from office and then throwing them out of the country, a governor like Cuomo or Newsom or whatever. You know, Newsom is so, such a rat that they filled in skating parts with sand. If it were up to me, I would have every politician who ordered that, they would be out there with hand shovels, shoveling it out. And they would be paid only minimum wage to do that. They wouldn't be able to stop until they were done and they dropped dead. But anyway, who acts actions resolved in several contempt of Congress convictions? and blacklisting and many who refuse to answer questions, highly controversial for its tactics. Kuwak was criticized for violating First Amendment rights. Its influence had waned by the 1960s. In 1969, it was renamed the Internal Security Committee. In 1975, it was dissolved. This is what I think we need to bring back and find a way... Uh, to expel these communist state actors, like again, Kumo and Whitmer, Newsom, D. 
Divine of uh, Ohio, so on and so forth, so forth. All these little petty dictators, I think, need to be thrown out of this country. And I don't know where you send them. This is the thing. But I do think it's time we brought back HUAC and uh, started doing this. We'd have to be real careful if we had running HUAC nowadays. It's not just dump Democrats. I mean, DeWine is a Republican, a rhino Republican, or a Republican name only. I think this is what needs to happen here. I'm looking at Memorial Day, our Memorial Day gathering uh, parades are gone forever. Uh, they'll keep finding out reasons why we can't gather in groups. That's all American. That's an all American activity right there. It's not going to change. Hey, if I'm proven wrong, I'll uh, own up to it. But in my opinion, I don't think that's going to change. That's the way I see it. And I think we're all done with all our uh, American uh, activities, our American celebrations. Because remember, these people are anti-American. They hate everything about freedom. They they borrow a little from the original Battlestar Galactica. People like Kumo. Uh, we love freedom. The people love freedom. They love self-reliance. They love just being people. And to somebody like Governor Kumo, this is an alien way of existing that they can't understand. He doesn't believe that we, the people, should have any rights. And he goes for the rest of these tyrants, too. I can't name them all. There are hundreds of them, hundreds of these tin pot, uh, tin horn dictators around the country. And they're using this uh, Wuhan flu virus as an excuse to take away our rights. They're not going to stop. They're not going to... If the Wuhan flu was somehow destroyed tomorrow, nothing would change. They say they're reopening New York. I haven't seen it. Sorry, folks. I haven't seen anything. So, that's, that's my rant for today. Uh... Let's reopen HUAC, and instead of going, well, I wouldn't say instead of going after some of these Hollywood types, because many of them are communists, like Jane Fonda, for instance. She should have been locked up a long time ago. But we need to go after some of these politicians, too. Kumos, and Newsoms, Whitmer, so on and so forth. Wolf of Pennsylvania. And we need to find a way to get them out of the country. Because they don't belong here. I said it. I'm not taking it back. I'm on a fax to Mars. Thanks for watching.